Okay, players, today we're going to be testing the Enesis Tour 900 and the Pro V1X as told to us by a certain website that this is the shortest ball, crappiest ball, and the tightest Pro V1X is the best ball. We all know Pro V1X is the best ball, duh. But is it so much different for an average golfer? I don't know. I don't know. But what we're going to find out today is Pro Mo is going to hit shots. We're going to do as many as we can throughout the round. Three, Pro, three Inesis and three Pro V1X from 92 yards or 91 yards, his preferred distance with his wedge. So we're going to see the spin rate and how controllable it is. And then we're going to do drives and we're going to do approach shots on the par threes as well. So let's get it done. One Inesis, one Pro V. One Inesis, one Pro V. Let's alternate them. Next to the hole. <laughs> Inside the Inesis. <laughs> Man, that Inesis goes way higher, huh? Yeah. I feel like Inesis is going like quite a lot higher. It, it feels a little bit firmer. Um, but not like, it's not as soft. So it feels firmer than the Pro V1 and yeah, it goes higher. Firmer, but with higher spin. Okay, so approaching the green here, on the right hand side is just the ball that Mo used as his sighter to get the feeling. So Inesis, I mean it's actually pretty much the same. Like the yeah, two on the so top there are the same. The so two close are the first. same, and the two, these two furthest ones are probably similar distance too. And the third one. And they don't cut, neither of them came down the hill. And yeah. the, the Pro V came out of its pitch mark, and the Inesis just stayed in its pitch mark. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's that much different for the wedge. Okay, for wedges. Yeah. So that one came out 98. That is such an anti-water shot. It's so anti. <laughs> I'm literally. They just win. Right? Huh? 91, 124. Yeah, they've been they've been a little bit long. In, in the bunker. Man, it's that's a uh, legit. That is something actually. It doesn't matter what they say about these balls. Mm. If I'm playing a Pro V1 here, I'm thinking don't hook it. Yeah. And that's why I hit two shots in the bunker. Innocent, I don't care. And yeah. like the first one was perfect, and the other one also a little bit right. Okie dokie players, here we are at the green. Mo's three in the Inesis over here and, and two of the Pro V's. This is, this is literally the, the gapping. The, the, the spacing between them is identical. And then here's the other two Pro V's. So it's, it's exactly the same distance. I mean, not quite his full distance, but exactly the same distance. And my caddy over there has kindly started raking the balls up. One was just inside here where that you see where that rake starts. Here's the Inesis. Um, okay, so there were there were three pro, two Pro Vs and one Inesis in here, same place. And then back here are my two best shots. There's my warm-up shot with the Volvic. Here's the Inesis, and then there's the final shot with the Pro V. So you can see there's not really much difference at all for either of us at the moment. Okay, here we are players, this is the result. The result is, to be honest, pretty similar. 
the distance control is roughly within three, four yards of, of the distance that Mo was hitting. And the spin, what do you think about the spin, bro? Do you think it like stops the same amount or? It's not really spin more, it's just a little bit lower and then stop. Okay. But like for the inner it come out a little bit higher and then like stop. So it comes out high, then that's what makes it stop. Yeah. So the I guess I guess the spin rate for the Provenic is just a tad more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But in general, not much difference. Just the ball flight looks different, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, if you let Tiger hit it, I think he's gonna be like, no, it's not my ball flight. He's gonna hit it. But then, for now, people, I don't think Smith. I don't think it's like it make any change. <laughs> that's it. We've got Mo, one of the greatest drivers I've ever seen of a golf ball, and we're gonna do six of each ball. And we're going to measure back from where the ball is. We're going to take the little ranch pando, and this is highly accurate, no mistakes. I measure this against Bush now, against the GPS watch, no problems, okay? I don't want to hear any blah, blah, blah. We're going to shoot back to this tree from where the balls are. There's no roll today because it's very wet, so we'll get a true carry distance. We've got a little thingy there to measure the swing speed and ball speed, how accurate it is, who knows? But it's going to be consistent enough to compare. Man, what a bad flight, bro. 39. Ooh, short draw. Little draw. 81. That sounded nasty. Beauty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Oh, that's a big boy. Twenty-six. Same. Same. One seven. What's the numbers on that one? You know, players, I have no dog in this fight. Honestly, I don't. I really don't care what ball you play. I just want you to do your own research and think a little bit about what people are saying to you. We have a dispersion here. Clearly, the Pro V is longer. It's clearly longer. What is your swing speed, Mo? Around 21, 22. 120, 121, 122, okay? So that's his swing speed. So what we're gonna do here, I'll take a quick, I'll take a quick um, shooting with the rangefinder. And then from there we'll get an average, okay? The Pro V1, okay, we've got five here. I think we lost one Pro V1. One Pro V1, there's one Pro V1 up on the left, but the dispersion of the Pro V1 looks better. The distance, okay, we got told it's... I think it's middle, but flat. We got told it's 30 yards, 31 yard difference, okay, at 100 and whatever. This is 121 miles per hour. Players, I measured back to the tee with the rangefinder from exactly the same place on the tee. So there's a big tree next to the tee. Each one was measured to the same tree from where the ball lay. That's all right at their pitch marks, maybe maximum this far forward or that far back. The average for the Inesis, even with the high toe, where Mo didn't hit a high toe with a Pro V1, even with the high toe of 292, the average is 301. The average for the Pro V is 309. That's eight yards.
Okay, players, he has one of Mo's uh, Inesis, went quite long. He has the results of the shots. One of my Pro V's long here. One of my Inesis, just slightly long. There's about four yards between those ones. There's one I put just behind the hole, and there's the one two feet from the cup, and Mo's one two feet from the cup. There's Mo's first Inesis, not the best strike. Here's Inesis and Pro V, and then here's an interesting grouping as well. Yep, one, 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 and one. Three, one. all three of Mo's are there with tightness, so they're all scattered in the same place. Is it the ball? Is it Mo? Is it, what is it? We don't know. So there's some there. Now, what can you deduce from this? I mean, yeah, sure, maybe more of the Pro V's are longer than the yellow balls. So, maybe Mo's, maybe Mo's Pro V's are one to two yards longer. And maybe the couple of the Pro V's of mine are also a bit longer. There's my longest, that's my longest two. So the Pro V went longer. And the Pro V, I believe, was in the teeth anyway. Here's my two best. And, I mean, what difference does it make? I don't know. 